Using a coin or suitable tool, twist the battery cap slightly until it releases. Remove the cap and insert the batteries, making sure to insert them in the correct orientation for the terminals. Positive and negative are marked inside the battery chamber on the clear plastic. The batteries are N-series batteries and can be found in most stores. Replace the cap, giving it a slight turn to lock it in place. Using TerraFluid only, shake the bottle, twist open the cap and remove the filler plug from the side of the reservoir. Insert the nozzle of the bottle into the hole and fill to the desired level. Finally, replace the filler plug on the side of the reservoir. Hold down the on off button at the base of the reservoir for two seconds. The unit will flash an upward sequence of lights to show it is active before indicating with another LED flash the current flow setting. The system will always remember your previous setting even if you replace the batteries. To turn the unit off, hold down the power button for another two seconds and a reverse sequence of lights will follow indicating that the unit is now deactivated. To ensure the Revo Terra knows its orientation, you will need to calibrate it. To do this, hold down the down arrow button for four seconds until you see a short flashing light sequence. If you have to replace the batteries, you don't need to recalibrate the system as this information is stored in its memory. In order to clear the air from the tubing and get the fluid to the dispenser, press the prime or boost button, the uppermost button on the control panel. It will commence a 30 second continuous pump cycle. During this time, it will flash its LEDs and pump through approximately 0.9 millilitres of terafluid. After 30 seconds, it will stop automatically. If required, repeat this process until terafluid can be seen coming out of the end of the tube, and if needed, you can stop the prime cycle by pressing the boost button once again.